drift of electrons and the origin of resistivity. Now see, suppose we consider any ith electron, which one is executing random motion in the conductor. All the electrons are executing random motion, but we consider here any ith electron and suppose its velocity at any time t, that is vector vi. And total number of electrons in the conductor are suppose capital N. So here, if we think about the average velocity of the electrons, then we have to take the vector summation of the velocities of each and every electron and then we have to divide it by total number of electrons. But here electrons execute random motion. So when random motion is executed, it implies that the probability of the electron to move in any direction that is same one. So when we take the average, then average velocity of the electrons that will come to zero. Clear to all of you? So we can write sigma i equal to 1 to n vector vi. That is the summation of the velocities of the electrons. And when it is divided by n, then we can say that is the average velocities of electrons and that comes to zero. Clear up to this one first. Now, see, we discussed this thing, the average velocity of the electrons in the conductor that is zero. But that is the situation when the electric field is not present. But suppose we consider the presence of electric field in the conductor. Now, if electric field is present, then we know this thing. When any charge Q is placed in the electric field, the force acts on it, that is Q into E. So, when force acts on the charge, definitely it will be accelerated. So, here the charge particle that is electron. So, electron will experience the force F that is minus E into capital E. So, in the presence of electric field, the electron will be accelerated and we can write acceleration of the electron that is minus E, E upon mass of electron. Now, velocity of electron after collision at any time t that we can calculate using the equation V equal to V0 plus AT. So, at any instant t after collision, the velocity of electron that we can write V that is equal to initial velocity of the ith electron we considered that is VI plus acceleration that is minus E, e upon ME into T. So, average velocity of electron that is vi average minus e, e upon me into tau this tau that is known as the relaxation time that is nothing but the average time between two successive collision because here the velocity is taken average so time that also we have to take average so tau that is the average time between two successive collisions. But we already discussed this thing vi average that is equal to zero. So simply we can write v average that is minus e, e upon me into tau. And this v average between two successive collision of the electron that is called its drift velocity. 
that is called its drift velocity. So we can write drift velocity Vd that is equal to minus Ee upon Me into tau. Now see, here, let's think about the physical interpretation of this one. See this figure. Suppose initially the electric field is not present and the path of one electron is represented here, that is A to B. A to B, the electron move. But when the electric field is present, then in the opposite direction of electric field, the electron will experience the force. Now, under the effect of force, suppose the path of the electron that becomes A to B dash as represented by the red dotted line here. It implies that due to presence of electric field, your electron is drifted or we can say dragged from B to B dash. So, the velocity of the electron during this displacement, that is its drift velocity. So, due to presence of electric field, here, no doubt, electrons suffer so many collisions, but resultantly its tendency, that is to move in the opposite direction of electric field. And therefore, some net charge will flow through any cross section of the conductor and this drift velocity that is the reason for the constitution of electric current. Clear to all of you?